Hey you, do you want to learn how to make a very easy 3D parallax effect with any picture that you have? Well, I'm going to show you today, and it's a lot easier than you think. You've probably seen me use this effect a lot in Hamsa's videos, and that's because it's very, very easy to do. The first thing you want to do is head over to clipdrop.co. This is the only website we're going to be using for AI. Once you're in this home page right here, you want to go over to apps and then all tools. The first step that you want to do is we're going to go ahead and remove background. So we're going to select that and then we're going to hit here. And I've been watching a lot of Breaking Bad lately, so we're going to be using Walter White for this one as an example. We're going to go ahead and open up the file and you'll notice that by just doing that, it's going to immediately remove the background with AI. Just hit download and you're good to go. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to go back to tools and we're going to choose cleanup this time. And again, we're going to select the same picture. Awesome. So now what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and select the subject, which in this case, it's Walter wide so i'm gonna increase the brush size a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead and do this right here it doesn't have to be perfect you don't have to be super precise but do keep it fairly close to him so it doesn't mess anything up and then once you've covered him you're gonna go ahead and hit clean and then wait for the magic to happen boom now this could be a little bit better so we're gonna go ahead and shadow a bit more in the places that might seem a little off so around the same place that he was in and then we're gonna hit clean again and then we'll see what happens Sweet, that's fairly clean, so we can use that. Now go ahead and just hit download on the top right, and now you have the, both files. Okay, sweet, so we have both the background and the subject separated. I've already gone ahead and opened up After Effects, and I've imported both of the files over here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select them both, and then we can drag it over to create a new composition. And then you just have to make sure that the background fits everything, right? So we're gonna go ahead and select the background, press S for scale, and then we're gonna push it up. Sweet. So now what we want to make sure is that both layers are on a 3D layer. If you do not see the option here, you want to make sure you click on toggle switches and modes, and then you'll see it's right here. So make sure both of them are on the 3D layer. And once that's done, we're going to go ahead and create a 3D camera. So we're going to go into layer, new, camera, and then we're going to press OK. Once we've done that, you can go ahead and tap C on the keyboard and you'll see that you get this arrow right here. Now you might get a different one. You can just keep on tapping on the C until you get the right one. This is going to be the one we're going to be using today. So when we zoom in, you'll see there's really no 3D effect on this. It's just a normal zoom in. That's not what we're looking for, right? What we want to do is we want to go ahead into the background layer, tap P for position on the keyboard, and then we want to affect this last number right here. What you want to do is you want to hold the left click and then you're gonna drag it to the right. So we're gonna increase the amount. And you can see that it looks like it's scaling down, but really it's moving back in C space. After we've done that, we wanna go ahead and tap S on the keyboard. And we're gonna scale it back up. Now we can go ahead and tap C again, and you'll see that when you zoom in, it'll have this 3D parallax effect. Pretty neat, right? Now all you wanna do is you wanna go to the camera layer. We're gonna go ahead and hit this drop down menu and then transform. And then we're going to create a keyframe for point of interest and position. And then you wanna move to the end of the composition or wherever you want it to end. And then again, we're gonna tap C and we're just gonna zoom in like this. Now I'm gonna tap C again two times so that I get this one right here, this arrow. And then we wanna push it up a little bit. And so when we hit play, you will get this result right here. Now, if you want to make it feel like the background is farther away, you can just go ahead and go back to the background layer, press P for position, and then just keep on increasing this number right here. And then once again, you're going to hit S, scale it up, and then you'll see it has more depth to it, right? The background is farther away now. Now, if you want to create more depth, what you can do is go ahead and click on the background layer. We're going to go ahead and add a Gaussian blur. And then I'm going to go ahead and bump it up a little bit. And now that's going to create a little bit more dimension to it. Pretty neat if I do say so myself. Anyways, that was it. See ya.